fish tacos. So I'm making a little marinade for some fish. We're gonna take a look-see at my fish in a second here, but I'm squeezing some limes. Okay, so lime. Now I've got a little pimentone that we're gonna use. Smoky Spanish paprika. We're gonna use this to marinate my fish. Like, this is not a spicy thing, but if you or your kids like spicy stuff, go ahead and add it. Hey, I'm gonna do a little salt here. Now I'm gonna set this lime zest and juice aside and we're gonna get back to that in a little bit. I've got a little vegetable oil. We're doing neutrally flavored stuff here. Okay, and then I've got a whole bunch of garlic that I'm gonna use for all sorts of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my garlic prepped also. So yes, I'm doing fun stuff, but I'm also thinking like a chef, thinking like a cook. I'm loving that one. All right, so a couple of cloves for my fish marinade, and then I'm gonna use a couple cloves for other stuff later on. So we're gonna do some corn salsa. Oh, we're making cupcakes today too. It's a kid's birthday party. Love this menu. And it's also so seasonally appropriate. Yay, we're loving that. And you know what? Everybody loves a taco and a cupcake. All right, so let's peel these guys. Garlic smash. I'm gonna put that in my marinade as well. A couple garlic cloves for later on. Hmm, smelling good. All right, so. I'm gonna grab some fish. I'm gonna get a little fish board. I've got a fish knife, and then we'll have easy fish cleanup later on. All right, we've got a little cod. I'm a cod person. You know what, this is a mild, very mild, white flesh fish. It's kind of like what we use in fish sticks. So if you think your kids or you are not a fish fan, go ahead, use chicken, use pork, knock yourself out. But use something that, first of all, looks fresh, does not smell like what it is. If it smells like a fish, hey, guess what? We don't want it. This is exactly what happens in a restaurant too. Just cause we're making fish tacos for our kid's birthday party. It's the same thing we do in a restaurant. So we look at it, we make an impression. Hey, we give it a little poke, how you doing? And if it leaves a fingerprint or it leaves an impression, guess what? Not fresh. We're gonna kind of cut like nice sort of big wide pieces. So we think about like how we're gonna fold this up in a tortilla later on. This is what we call fish finger or skinny little fish fillets. There we go. We're gonna marinate that and we're gonna let it hang out in the fridge. We're gonna cover it. And you know what? This could be a so have done yesterday kind of thing. I don't know, loving that, loving that. So, all right, a couple more. There we go. Nicey, nicey. Let's get this all sort of tossed around, okay. Now, let's get it hanging out in the fridge. So we're gonna do a little honey and a little vinegar to dress our cabbage slaw. So let's go ahead and just get that mixed up with my lime juice. Like, hey honey, how cute is that little honey bear? Little honey, so we have like our lime stuff. We have some sweetness, we have some sour. I'm gonna get this all hanging around for a little bit. A little salt and a little oil. So guess what we're making? A big fat vinaigrette. Okay. Yep. I'll mix it up and then standing by. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start cutting my cabbage, getting my scallions all prepped up and my jalapenos prepped up. Now we're making a Savoy cabbage slaw. I have some scallions that I chopped for this and jalapenos, one jalapeno actually. So I'm gonna use some more of that stuff later on. So look at, I did all of my mise en place, got everything ready in the beginning. This is a must do ahead. We don't like to serve raw cabbage and so the vinegar that's in here really sort of acts like it's cooking the whole thing. So this also makes it more fun for the mom on the birthday party, right? We have to do this ahead and then everything's already ready already. That's the beautiful part of mise en place. Mm, 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 yay, good. And when we come back to this, it'll be all nice and soft. All right, so my fish. This is some cod I've been marinating. This you could do yesterday also if you want to. And we're just gonna lay these on a little sheet tray. Now, if you're not a cod fan or if you're not a fish fan, chicken works here. If you wanna grill this or saute this, that works also. This is a nice thing to do together with your kids and even little kids can handle this. And you know what? It's a great family activity, fun to do together and you're making good healthy food, which we love, love, love. All right, little hand wash. Okay, so 
Look at fish and tortillas ready to go into the oven. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop fish in the same oven, 350 degrees for about eight or so minutes, and my tortillas right in there as well. Look at that. So my tortillas I took out of the oven, I wrapped them in foil. These are flour tortillas, okay? and put them on a little plate. They're warm, they're pliable. They are not crispy at all. You know, like we like to keep them that way. No hard taco shell here. Okay, couple pieces of fish. Now, I have my little slaw, my cabbage slaw, with some scallions and a little jalapeno that I made earlier with the lime vinaigrette, lime and honey. So you know what? I'm always a big fan of an avocado on my taco as well, and you know what? These are fun to do. They're so good for you. Look at this. Cut them right in half. Take that pit right out there. Hey, that's the pits. Okay, so go ahead. Take a little butter knife and when an avocado is ripe, it comes right out of there, slices through so beautifully. Nice, look at that. And this is also something that you can do ahead, and this is something kids can do too. If you do it ahead, just put it back together with the pit in there, and look at that. It stays nice and beautifully green. Okay, look at this. Taco time for me. Perfect. Fish cooked perfectly. My nice pliable tortilla. This beautiful and bright, and that creamy avocado. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs>